What's up, y'all? Happy Wednesday. Today's date is April 19th, which is Avalon's third birthday. It's been a while since I've done one of these video, um, <laughs> video vlogs, uh, so to speak, for my YouTube channel. I just have been so inundated with work and, and life and our baby boy and Avalon turning three. So many moving things, so many good things and positive things. But I want to take a moment today uh, to talk about <clears throat> where we are in the market in San Diego and if you're a buyer or seller what kind of moves do you have or options do you have to make as a buyer right now we're still experiencing relatively high interest rates so it's deterring competition from stepping into the market if you are somebody who wants to or likes to enjoy swimming in a pool by yourself so to speak and and having the ability to kind of shop and do your due diligence this is a market for you reason being again because buyers are not shopping now because interest rates have deterred them they're on the sidelines so if you're shopping you're more than likely have opportunities to look at homes submit offers <clears throat> around list price maybe even under depending on your financial situation um, we're seeing deals occur so for example um, I helped some clients get into escrow last month and their um, the, the, the offer that they had submitted was that list but they're getting about fifteen thousand dollars in seller credits to help them with their closing costs this allows them to retain cash and be able to invest it back into the home once they close escrow so they can do some repairs, upgrades, furnish the property, etc. cetera. Um, and as a seller, there's a unique opportunity as well. Um, and a seller may be a little more convoluted. So if you are thinking about selling your property, it's important to make sure that you strategize, strategize with your agent and pre-list uh, go through a pre-list uh, uh, of steps to make sure that your home is in good shape, that it's relatively desirable. Um, if you have a home that needs a lot of work and it's falling apart, you may run into a situation where you may not get as much traffic, um, no offers, home sits on the market longer than you'd like, and you know then you're losing money at that point. So it's crucial. Um, but there's opportunity. Um, I always suggest meeting with the agent, lender, anybody to kind of point you in the right direction so that you're able to uh, maximize your profit margins and avoid losing money. If you have any questions, want to reach out, want to strategize, or you want to purchase or thinking about purchasing, I'd love to be able to help you out. Cheers.